are these people? All right. You ready? <laughs> Hit off the apple. And that is not the Apple II, uh, the Apple Model 3 slave collar. All right, let's do this. I'm sick of the lie, and I mean the big lie. I'm sick of the talk and sick of the sight. Let it be said, I was a lyrical blade at the neck of the right. I was a lyrical needle that entered the temple and opened the mine. Interim Lord of the Flies. Erecting a hall to the dead in a culture of trauma survivors who struggle each day to survive. Held under pressure by suited oppressors who peddle in blame with a little bit of victim shame on the side. You can't quite measure the spite each day when you find that you've opened your eyes. In a nation refusing to honor the worth of your life. In a nation refusing to lessen the wealth of a handful to wash off the stains of our poverty lines. But they're happy to tweet on the issues and pat themselves all on the back for the bill they designed, with zero intention to sign, but all too content to soak up all the media shine. Like a bomb squad only reporting to find the device and state that they found the device, watch the device, publicly shame and denounce the device, tweet every day on the risk that could rise, and then land on the cover of Vogue for their fearlessness, power, and style while facing that awful device. And behind closed doors, they can laugh with that awful device. They can shake hands with that very device that eats millions of struggling Americans' lives. And one day, when it blows sky high, they can wring all their hands at the toolkit sitting nearby with a manual walking them through the disarming and proper disposal and all point fingers and all place blame over why it had never been tried. But if all of us hostages had those tools, we would not think twice. Instead, we were left in the dark with our hands all tied. They bring a few ball gags once in a while, and we open our mouths, and we don't ask why. A few don't mind. A few start cheering the silence who view it as some kind of positive sign. And a few shout prayers to a squad that had sworn they were here to help, and they were on our side. And then suddenly, we could hear vehicles come up the drive. We saw the flashing of lights. We thought that help had arrived, only to find there was a media frenzy to see AOC wear her hair to the side. And Kamala Harris was not in attendance, but she set her shoes in a bulletproof limo with heavy security detail that all of our taxes were gracious enough to provide. And along with her warmest regards, she sent a surprise. A shipment of muzzles and gags, and all of them signed, Cheer for your squad, or shut up and bite, President Harris. That's what I'll read through the tears in my eyes while I'm opening wide. Accepting my penance for daring to warn that the squad will be cutting your heat in the night before they take a blade to those wires. And our only hope to dismantle their precious device is in snipping the red and the blue, because they're fully entwined. To cut out the red and the blue in our minds wherever we find. So here's to combining our hands and cutting the line. Here's to denying the motor the oil it needs to be primed. Here's to a wrench in the gears of your capital, hearing it grind. Here's to the feeling of loosing your collar and breaking your binds. Here's to the bliss of forgetting your number and knowing it's fine. Knowing your name. Living your life for a purpose beyond someone's profits, of which your retirement warrants a hollow farewell, an equivalent gift of a dime. Here's to the bliss of us cutting the line. Like President Harris, I'm biding my time. Here's to the promise of breaking our binds. Bro, you just made me cringe. Anthony, Don't do that. Don't do that. Anthony, I'm really sorry. I look down in the chat and I see him say, please never say President Harris again. And the next me. line is literally the second time I say President <laughs> I said it again. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> I keep saying it. <laughs> no. I'm with you, Anthony, bro. I can never. They're all going to laugh at you. If the oh god, I, I actually have that Adam Sandler. I bought that on CD, and I have that in my iTunes. Like, like, um, 
What is it? It's like guy getting beat up at recess. Like that's what. No. I'm... Yeah, they're all gonna laugh at you. That's very, very uh, funny. Like, not many people have that album, but I do. That's hilarious. Um, yes, I, I am now traumatized and triggered to even hear those words uh-huh. too. But also hearing the thing about AOC and and the for the for the. The shot mm-hmm. with AOC, all right, with uh, a yep. media frenzy to see AOC wear her hair to the side and Kamala Harris was not in attendance, right? That's Jordan Neely's funeral. That still like, happens. That shit like still happens. Yeah. Like it was literally yep. this week, okay, that yep. people were taking selfies with AOC at the funeral and it was gross. Mm-hmm. And Kamala, of course, wasn't there because ha 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 do you not know, come. Do not come. When I originally when i um when i decided i wanted to re-record coming of spring just because i i wasn't <laughs>